So today might be the greatest day in Geekermon channel history. Why is that geek? Well, let me tell you, we have been on a long journey the past two years, reaching out to LaCroix, trying to get them to sponsor me. You can tell they sit right here almost every single episode. And thanks to your love and support, they have finally responded. Now, let me read the Twitter message here because you guys are gonna appreciate this. From at LaCroix Water. Hi, we're reaching out, they reached out to me because fans of your channel have been messaging us to let us know you're a big LaCroix fan. That is an understatement, but I'll take it. We'd love to send you some merch and product. How does that sound? And you know me, I said that sounds amazing. So with that being said, bada bing, bada boom. LaCroix. It's like Christmas morning in here. They asked me what my two favorite flavors were and I told them key lime and peach pear. Now coconut is a close third. Thank you guys all so much. Those of you that pestered LaCroix on Twitter, those of you that commented on their Instagrams, all of it helped get us to where we are today. They also sent me this box. Let's open it. Oh baby, we got our very own LaCroix hat. It's perfect. We've got some stickers. I got a nice card. It says thanks for the love. So I don't know if you can read this, but this koozie actually says Sparkle Squad on it. We're now officially part of the Sparkle Squad. I'm going to be a dad soon. First one's a boy, but I'm sure I'll have a daughter soon, so I might as well embrace this. All right. How do I look? Somebody snapshot this and we'll send it to LaCroix, okay? Just snapshot it and tweet it at them and say thank you. Perfect. We're back. Today's episode, episode four. So far, Polaris Lance, Malfeasance, and Tone Patrol have moved on to the next round. We've got some matchups left, man. Up next is Vigilance Wing v. Ostringer. Now, looking at the Vegas odds here, Ostringer has about a 20% chance of winning. Most people had Vigilance Wing going almost all the way in the tournament. Severe, severe upset alert if the Ostringer can pull it out, depending on the map. Without further ado, we got the Well of Radiance ready. I got the Ostringer and the Vigilance Wing. Excuse me, too much LaCroix. And let's jump right into today's episode. All right, ooh, Pacifica, nice. So the Ostringer, you guys know, one of those few hand cannons that I absolutely love the stability of. Look at those first two shots before I butchered it by pulling too far down on the third. Nice. Slide up with the teammate who's clearly hurting. Oh, that guy's fried, teammate, watch out, watch out. Got him! So the one thing that I really, really like about this hand cannon is how stable this gun is. It is insane. The other thing, I took a pro tip from you guys. I appreciate when you give me some feedback on the videos. A lot of you said when I use hand cannon specifically, I end up overcorrecting a lot, especially on the recoil. So I dropped my sensitivity based on the recommendations from you guys. I dropped my sense just a tad down two levels actually. And uh, I'm hoping that the lowered sense might help me be able to, uh, to control the recoil a bit more. We'll see. It seemed to help right there, the gnawing hunger. I was like, ah, ah, ah. Absolutely great. See, that kind of stability. Oh, on controller, I have such a hard time doing that on like unstable rolls for the for the 140s and 150s. Sir? A trade, a gentleman's agreement. We're actually popping off. First place on the losing team right now. Things are looking good. We're gonna get a ton of kills. I don't know how, I have to look how many hand cannons are left. I don't think that there's many hand cannons left in this tournament, actually. Even most of the special weapons have been uh, kind of removed from the battlefield. So we'll see. That was not a headshot, but I appreciate it. Come on up. Is that a shotgun? Also, no, get that out of here. Telling you, this is the one hand cannon I can use. I always get made fun of people, I can't use hand cannon, and then I put on a 180 and they're like, he can't use some hand cannons. It's really just the unstable ones. As, as a controller player, I genuinely have the hardest time. Yep. Yee. No! Well, incredible. Little crispy headshot on him. Oh, a little hip fire action. Here we go. Here we go. Slide around this corner. Where's he at? Oh, that guy's absolute. Yes! I got him. Let's go, baby. Took that soup. Oh, get him out of here, man. Yeah, watch out, buddy. They're coming back. This overshield. Oh, Ooh, we got him. Let's go. Teammate, push out there with me, buddy. Nice. Get ready. Boom. Push in here. Let's go. Face up. Snipe me, dude. Do it. I'm literally gonna capture zone B. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh-oh. He might he might have found something he can do about it. Oh, he's got full health and an overshield. I pulled out my fusion rifle like I was gonna break that for the tournament just to kill one super. This is tough scenes right here. There we go. There's one. Alright, we do not have much time left. 
That guy's fried. Hey, you're gonna put that up, huh? Interesting. Well, joke's on you. I'm gonna get shot in the back from a not annoying hunger. Could be anything. I have no idea what gun that guy's using. It could be any weapon. Crazy match, dude. First place on the losing team. You'll love to see it. That team was good. That actually is big ups to the Vigilance Wing because the Ostringer had good opponents. We know that the map the strength of the enemies and the ammo economy are the three biggest factors. Quantum Sandwich over there popped off. Had Look at the other team's KDs. 3-3-2. Three, three, Oof. Tough. Tough scenes. The Taco Squad. All right, so we had 24. First place on the losing team. We'll see how many kills we had with just the AR. Pacifica ended up being tough because people could push in with shotguns and ARs, and it just made it for a tough situation just to use hand cannon only. But we still put up good numbers. I'll calculate the official score, and we'll jump into Vigilance Wing. All right, so looking at the Ostringer, we had 17.5 points, a lower score than we've seen in the Sweet 16, but like I said, there was a lot of factors that went into that. That gives the Vigilance Wing some hope. I've been I've been doing my best with every gun. I feel like uh, a lot of times certain guns in my hands excel better than other ones, and then other times, you know, somebody else might uh, put on the same tournament, and you, especially people that use like mouse and keyboard or something said, you might see a completely different result. So we'll see what happens, but so far the Vigilance Wing is just absolutely Crying. This gun is insane, dude. I will say a lot of people for the Vigilance Wing. I have seen so many brackets and so many comments that say Vigilance Wing's taking home the gold. I don't know if I can get that kill. Well, well, no. I feel like this is actually a really good map for the Vigilance Wing, too. Like, if we can get the right placement and the right positioning, we could really fry on this map with old V-Wing. All right, we beat the Soros guy. I'm going to try to wrap real quick. I know they're out here. I don't remember what bow that guy's rocking, but it hurt last time. I'm peeking it. Yep. Got him. Let's go, baby. All right. I think that they're inside this tunnel right here. Yep. Oh, my goodness. So good. I see why so many of you guys had it winning at all. Just the amount of damage I'm pouring out right now is ridiculous. Melee. Get the kill with the weapon. Second guy behind the wall. Oh, he's he's further back. He's further back. World's best grenades right here. Bada bing. He's done. Get out of the grenade. Hurry. Gotcha. And we got credit with the vigilance wing. You love to see it. Is it just one in here? Oh, I'm dead. Maybe? What is this guy running laps inside? What's he doing? I think there is one. Oh. There are so many people. Oh my gosh, we're frying right now though. Face up, let's go. Good Thorn plays. A trade, again. That's the one thing in Destiny. I feel like I see it more in Destiny than I do in other games. I trade so often. Like I play a lot of Call of Duty, a lot of Warzone. I don't trade very often in that game. I feel like I only trade in Call of Duty. It's very strange. All right, I'm gonna go outside with the well and just see what's shaking out here. Uh, bad. Right up here to my right. Yep. Yep. Good grenade. Good grenade. Not a world's best, but it was good. All right. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? Boom. What up? Get out of here. Disgusting. Let's go. Face up. Wait, who's shooting me? You think you can 1v1 me? Please. Please. You've got to wait until people pop their supers to use the well. Otherwise, bad decision. We are for Ryan with this gun. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. Like, I understand not wanting to over-aim, but look at the... Like, if I try to 180 and turn around, watch this. Oh, that is painfully slow. I feel like I need traction and 10 sensitivity to be quick. Oh, I almost got that guy. Let's see. Let's see what's, let's see what's happening. Yep, there's two. Anybody else want some? There's a guy on zone C. Oh, I see him. Nice. What is that big poppy cucumber? <laughs> nice. Watch him down the lane. He's going around. He thinks he's being cheeky right here. Come on. <laughs> no. If they're dead. That's exactly right, Shax. The thing that I love about the Vigilance Wing, too, is even at this range, like, I'm pushing, I'm aggressive. I don't feel punished, you know? Like, I feel like it's still going well. There's guys chasing me. I'm dead. Vigilance Wing is probably going to move on. I can just feel it based on how these games have gone. But let's pop off a little bit at the end. I'm so sorry, teammate. Thank you for taking that so that I didn't have to. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Look at this dude. He has no plans of shooting his gun. Did you see that? The Titan way. It is the Titan way. All right. Let's see how we did. Something tells me that was a good match. 37. 
yeah vigilance wing is moving on to the next round thank you guys for all the love and support on the videos it means the world to me i really really appreciate you and uh, if you're new take just a second to subscribe you can follow along with the bracket down below don't worry if your bracket has been busted we're gonna do another elite eight bracket re-up smaller prizes but it'll give you another chance a fresh start a clean slate some would say so thank you guys for all the love and support with that catch you guys in tomorrow's video thanks for watching peace